No. Hey, oh, you dropped it, dummy. <laughs> that is crazy. Oh, yo, yo, chill, chill. <laughs> Do you have any other tortoises or turtles? Turtles? Ouch! No. <laughs> Ouchie! <laughs> she bit me. Ouch! Yo, what's up, guys? Yo, what up? Guys, he's hoodie-less today. I am hoodie-less. Look I'm, at him. Unfortunately. It's like 95 degrees it's outside. It's so hot. Hi, everybody. I'm Maya. You probably are like, who the heck is that? You probably do not know who I am because I've never played a video game in my life. Um, hi. Uh, we're at Alvea Sanctuary today. I'm the founder and executive director. We have an animal sanctuary, and we do conservation education here. Cool. Are you excited? I am. I'm nervous. He's I, nervous. I, I'm so nervous. I, was, I told him I'm nervous. I've never did anything like this before. My name is uh, Super TF or Matt, whatever you want to call me. I, uh, I'm a streamer. Used to be a pro Overwatch player, and now I full-time stream. And I was invited to come here. Did I invite myself? I mean, honestly, at this point, I don't even remember. But I guess it worked. You want to guess what's going to go in there? I'm going to put them in there. I don't know, like a turtle, maybe? OK, that's a good guess, but it's wrong. <gasps> it's a frog, oh, it's a toad. It's a frog. It's a frog, it's a toad. Oh, look who He's it is. He's dripping. It's Georgie. Oh my lord. <laughs> this is Georgie. Georgie's an African bullfrog. Here, I'll let you hold him. Um, it's a lot of frog. Yeah, Are I you got ready? It. Oh my god, it is a lot of frog. It's kind of like a whoopee cushion, but it's alive. <laughs> Georgie is an African bullfrog. This is the second largest frog species in the world. Um, he's covered in dirt because he was just buried in his enclosure. What do you think about him? Do they do that? Do they like bury themselves? In the wild, 10 months out of the year, they'll wow. be buried. Damn. Yeah, he doesn't. They're so lazy. Lot. Yeah, he's kind of lazy. He's kind of chunky too. He's a little, yeah, he's a big frog. So the reason we're wearing gloves today is uh, not because George is gonna hurt you, it's to protect him. He's an amphibian, which means he has semi-permeable skin. So he soaks the stuff up through his skin. Uh-huh. So if you had like sunscreen or something on your hands, mm. he would soak it up. That's also why pollution is a huge problem for frogs. So don't litter. Bitch. You want to hear something crazy? What's up? Um, you know how pregnancy tests work by chance? For, <laughs> for frogs? Uh, Not like for people. Like, I mean. <laughs> like, anyways, continue. No, so like, can you explain to them how a pregnancy test works like for a human? Don't you like pee on it? Yes. Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, so you pee on a stick. So before we had, <laughs> before we had disposable pregnancy tests, they would use frogs as pregnancy tests. So they would inject the back of African clawed frogs with urine, and then if the pregnancy hormone was present, they would lay eggs. Look at him. Really? Look at him, look at him in the face. Well, he's so and chill. And apologize. He's so chill, actually. Yeah, he's so chill. What, isn't that crazy? Yeah. So they would import a bunch of African clawed frogs into the US, inject a bunch of women's pee in them, send pregnancy results back to these women. Um, and then a lot of those frogs got out. It's potentially the origin of chytrid fungus, which is affecting frogs worldwide. Um, but yeah, super sad. So frogs used to be used as pregnancy tests. Wow. Kind of crazy. Now we pee on a stick, which is way better. Sick. Yeah. There he is. He's incredible. Anyway, so guys, if you want to take care of frogs, uh, don't- Don't litter. Inject them with your pee. And or don't, don't pee on them. Yeah, and don't litter. Georgie? Yeah, Georgie, that's my boy. I, I liked holding him because he was just, he just sits there, man. He's just so chill. I don't know. He just looks like he's enjoying life. I, I think we all want to be like Georgie, really. <laughs> this is Noodle. Noodle! Uh-huh. What did I hear you say earlier? You hope it's not a what? I said, I hope it's not a snake. You did not say that. I, I did. Apologize to I'm your so face. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> this is Noodle. Here you go. Oh, um, okay. She's a carpet python, a coastal carpet python. Oh my this god, also... I've never held a snake before. Really? Yeah, really. This is a big snake uh, for it to be your first one. Um, oh. She is a coastal carpet python. She's about eight feet long. Um, and she's an Australian snake as well. She's leaving. <laughs> she's like, uh, what is this guy doing? She's out. Um, some snakes are venomous. About 20% of snake species are venomous. There are over 3,000 species of snake. Um, so it's not that many. Um, this is not one of them. Thank God. Okay. Noodle is a constrictor though. So if Oh, she... I was gonna say I felt her like moving around my arm. I don't know if that was normal, but <laughs> Yeah, so if she were to kill and eat something, she would do so by constricting. Um, but they can only eat stuff that's about as big as the largest part of their body. So like, you know, rat. But right. she would not eat you. Because you're too big. What so if she, she got like really upset either. at me though? She wouldn't eat you. She would die if she tried to eat you. Oh. Like your 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 head? Yeah. Would maybe be okay, but your shoulders, there's no way. <laughs> 
So there's a chance. Okay. No, no, there's no chance. But look at the way they move. Aren't snakes really fast too? That... Or the pens? She can. I've never. I haven't really seen how fast she can move. I wouldn't be like scared of running away from a snake. You're definitely a lot faster than a snake is. We Isn't got... it true that some snakes they like? I'm sorry, I cut you off. But they like. Don't they just like eat once and then they're full for like a long time? Mm -hmm. She uh, will go months and months and months without without eating. We would love for her to eat once a month. Um, Wait, months? Yeah, but she's gone six months without eating. That's normal? Yeah, reptiles are weird, man. You want her around your neck? <laughs> Is that a good idea? <laughs> are we sure that's a good idea? Yeah, that's fine. Here. Okay. Okay. There you go. Okie dokie. Yeah, she just get off the table. Okay. Doesn't it feel kind of nice? Oh, wait, it's kind of cool, yeah, actually. Yeah, it's kind of nice. Wait, that is nice. This is like an alternate universe. This is what you do for a living. Tell tell them some fun facts. Um, like a so this is a snake. Um, also a reptile. They're cold-blooded animals. That's why it feels cool. Mm. <laughs> Just, uh, uh, keep going. You're doing great. Um, anyways, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I'm kind of like in shock a little bit. It was very natural. Good job. Oh, Noodle? Okay, I got a little scared at Noodle because I swear I felt noodle going around my arm and I didn't really know what was going on and apparently noodles a constrictor too so I got a little scared but I think I'm all right so no complaints oh my god I see him this is stompy stompy hi stompy can he's I, nice can I touch him yeah <laughs> check him hi what do you think so this is a ratite. They're related to uh, ostriches and cassowaries and rias. Ostriches are much larger and they're African birds. This is a emu, so this is an Australian bird. They did win a war, if you guys have heard about that. Stupid Australians. Stompy also is really good at giving hugs. Oh, can I hug him? Demonstration. Oh, oh that's nice. Oh my wow. God, he's so cute. Wait, can I give him a hug? Yeah. Can I, can I have a hug? No. <laughs> No? Okay, that's cool. You're kind of tall, man. You gotta squat. Oh, oh that's nice! Oh. That's a good Stompy hug! Thank you, Stompy. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. What a cool guy. Yeah, he's awesome. Um, so he came, from a, he came from a zoo in California as well. His mom didn't sit on his clutch of eggs, so he was incubated by people, um, and then was transferred here because he was an incubator baby. But his mom forgot about him? Uh, she didn't forget. Oh, <laughs> she cool. just didn't want him. <laughs> That's my guy right there. Stompy's my guy. Everyone down in that enclosure, those are my boys and girls. That's the first time I've ever gotten close to a bird, I think, because usually they just fly away or run away, but emus, they can't really fly, so yeah. We got the donkeys from a feedlot in Central Texas, so they were going to slaughter um, either for pet kibble or uh, glue or traditional medicine. Um, and I also have treats that so you can give the donkeys. Hi, buddy. Can we come say hi? You can stop right there and he might come up to you. They're kind of shy. This is Serrano. Hi, Serrano. He's got cookies for you. I have a cookie for you. Oh, or three of them, he's actually. brave. He's so brave. Here you go, buddy. You can have it. <laughs> that's nice. Oh. Well, he dropped it, but that's okay. You can get the other two if you want. He's so gentle. Oh my God, he, he's like, there you go. <laughs> Wait, I, I've always heard donkeys are mean. These ones are so No, mean. he's nice. He might let you touch his forehead, oh. but if he moves away, then... Can I? Oh, oh, it's oh nice. my god, he's so soft. <laughs> so again, before we got these guys, they had very little um, contact with humans. So they've come a really long way um, wow. in taking food from people and oh. being brave. You always see donkeys in cartoons. Like they're always like bucking people and attacking people with their hind legs. But I mean, I don't, I don't think I've ever, cause I fed like dogs and cats, but I've never had an animal so gently take food from me before. That's kind of surprising. This is Winnie the Moo. <laughs> Winnie the Moo. Winnie the Moo. Hi baby cow. Hi Winnie. Oh. She's very nice. Oh, watch your toes. Do not get stepped on by the cow. Oh my God. She's heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Winnie is a Red Angus beef cow. We got her from a beef operation in Oklahoma. So at a year old, she would have been slaughtered for beef, no. uh, but she is over two years old now. Oh. Um, and so she's here to teach people about the beef industry. 
Cows are ruminants, they produce methane, like the greenhouse gas, um, through burping and farting. And because we have so many cattle on this planet to meet the demand for the beef industry, it's affecting our atmosphere. Um, so if you guys are wondering where to start if you wanna make uh, an impact or a lesser impact with what you eat, eating less beef is a great place to start. Methane. Th oh my God. That's burping. I was gonna say, it sounds like smell reverb. It. you smell that? No, it's I didn't. Crazy. How does it smell? Crazy. Rank? Yeah. Hey, you want to brush her? This thing looks kind of dangerous, no? No, she likes it. You can go really, really hard, too. Like, really? harder than you think you should. Like that? Yeah. <laughs> ah, she likes it. <laughs> Yay, Winnie. It almost looks like a torture device, though. No. Nah, I'm going to show the camera after. It's nice. It's a brush with a bunch of spikes. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's metal. It's just wait, a bunch of... Wait, look of, at this. It's really... It's like a torture device. Yeah, kind of crazy combs. You really gotta get in there, you know? I'm gonna take her home. This is not a chihuahua, it is a big cow. <laughs> I love her. She gives good hugs, she's nice and warm. Not that you need that right now, but. I it's nice, her. Win. Welcome to the nutrition house. Um, we have a couple animals in here. Push Pop is our sulcata tortoise. She is um, about four years old. She'll be full grown at 15 years old. Mm. Um, and she's a giant tortoise, so she'll be about 100 pounds. You also have push pop. Like 20 to 30 inches long. And there are rats as well. Look at rats! Thank you. Would you like to feed push pop? Yeah, I can feed him. How do I do that? You want a green? Oh, there you go. Delicious. Yummy. <laughs> Delish. <laughs> so, push pop is a sulcata tortoise or an African spurred tortoise. They are endangered in the wild. One of the reasons is because of the pet trade, um, because they're really, I'm trying to help you. <laughs> okay, you got it, sorry. They're really popular in the pet trade, uh, but they live 100 years and they can be, they'll grow to 100 pounds, right? I'm 100 pounds, like that's crazy. So, no. There you go, oh, you dropped it, dummy. <laughs> that is crazy. Oh, yo, yo, chill, chill. <laughs> Do you have any other tortoises or turtles? turtles? Ouch, no. <laughs> ouchie. <laughs> She bit me! <laughs> Ouch! She inflicted damage on Did me. Did she really? Let me see. Yeah, look, she inflicted damage. Oh, ow, sorry. No, it's not. It's do fine. you want a band -aid? No, I do not need a bandage. <laughs> I do me. not need a bandage. I can give it. We have band aids with puppies on no, them. If I you do want. not need a bandage. <laughs> you want to see her incredible training? She's trained to follow that target <laughs> and Wait, to voluntarily weigh herself so we can keep track of her weight for our. Vet records. Yeah, that was a good crunch. Have you ever seen anything like this? Probably not. Wow. And she's on the scale. <laughs> nice. She's off the no, scale. and she's off the scale. <laughs> I got m chomped on. I mean, that might be a little bit of a skill issue on my part, um, but I think like we can meet halfway here. It's like half mine, half the tortoise's fault. This is the fox enclosure. We have two American red foxes. One of them was confiscated from the illegal pet trade in California, Ooh. and the other was orphaned in the wild in I'll California. Let you go first, I don't want to scare Hi, them. guys. Um, so here, you can come right here with me, and then I'll give you treats, and then we'll squat. This is Finn. Hi, Finn. Um, oh, you're so cute. That's nice, Finn. Well, you dropped it, buddy. You try again. Yum. So this is Finn. Uh, he is an American red fox. You might be like, no, he's not. People breed foxes to be all different colors, to be pets. Uh, foxes don't make very good pets. It's not really fair for them to be inside. They love digging. Um, they like having the elements and sunshine and rain. Um, and they also scent post everything. So they're not good fits for homes either. They'll just pee and poop on every new thing that you put in that enclosure. They're very like alert to any movement. Yeah, too. not like dogs at all. <laughs> like they're just, they're really quick. We have another fox in here, Reed. I see him up there. He's up there, he's much more shy. I will give you these and we'll see how he reacts. Take two of these and then I'll keep Finn over here. Okay. If you wanna go real slow over there to read and offer your hand out. Okay, um, I'll go slow. Hi buddy, I have food. You can also toss it to him from there if he's a little nervous. There you go. Yeah, you can have some food if you want. So Reed oh. was orphaned in the wild in California. No, you don't want that either? Oh. And um, he was raised by people. Oh, really? He was orphaned as a baby and then raised by people in oh. captivity. Oh, good boy. 
Did he eat from you? Yeah. Nice, great. Good boy. He looks like that because he's shedding for the, I know he looks really scraggly. Oh. He just sheds like in a really unfortunate way. <laughs> They're shedding so for the cute. summer. They were very uh, shy, but they were they were so cute. They came up, the, the one fox, I forget his name. What was his name? Uh, Finn. Yeah, Finn, yeah, he was so, he was very curious. Then the other fox started shedding, but he, he stayed more back, but then they got nervous, so then we had to leave because I didn't want them to be anxious. Again, maybe my fault, I don't know. Oh well. Okay, so um, we are, wait, you're the first collaborator to see the wolf dogs. They were just rescued here in May. Um, so you're the first person to come here to actually oh do God. this as a collab. First? This is actually crazy. Oh, um, so we have two wolf dogs. Again, the girls are gonna bring up meatballs, so we'll throw them in there in a sec. Um, we got these two from a facility that has received a number of, like a zoo, that has received a number of USDA violations or citations over the years. And a lot of those citations were based in violations of the Animal Welfare Act. Um, oh. So that facility just didn't have the resources that they need to care for them. Um, and oh, that's meatballs. why... Meatballs. Meatballs. Balls <laughs> of meat. Thank you. And that's why they were transferred here. Their names are Awa and Timber. Awa and Timber. Um, we're not going to go in there because they're... <laughs> yeah, they kept saying, can you, throw, can you throw them in the pit? I don't know if that's going to happen, but... So the sad thing about them being wolf hybrids is that um, they pose a greater risk to people if they were to be a pet. Some people do have wolf dogs as pets, um, but they're more dangerous to have in your home, right? So these guys can't be in someone's house, but also they can't be released because they're not naturally occurring. Um, and these guys have been in captivity their whole lives. So they're in kind of a weird limbo um, where they have to be at places like this and there aren't a ton of places like this. Right. So yeah, these guys are 10 years old, um, we think. Then we hope that they'll live 16 to 17 years under human care. So I'm going to have you come over and I'll have you take a meatball and I'll have you toss it. Um, okay. Yeah. Um, just do your best to clear the cantilever because these ones, usually we feed them frozen because um, it's good for their teeth and it's hot so it doesn't really make a difference. But you can see A was coming over. So if you toss, clear should the I just, cantilever. Should I just throw it over now? Yep, go ahead. Or see if that is enough to encourage. You don't have to throw it far. You can just throw it in like this general yeah, area. Yeah. Okay, I'll just do a little toss um, then. Whoa. See if they hear it hit. Uh, Ava did not. Uh, and Timber's like, I'm itchy. Timber's scratching. Well. You didn't miss. I didn't miss. That's that is, good. That's a good thing. Why are you saying soy throat? Guys, that was actually the ideal. That was yeah, what, was what do you want me to do? That like, is, they want to do like an MLB pitcher, like wind up and <laughs> sling it? Like, what am I supposed to do? Do you think you can launch a meatball into that area where she is? I could. Like, go. just chuck it over there? Give it a go. All right, hold up. See if we can get her to look over here. If she looks, definitely throw. There you go. go. Should I throw, go chuck it? it? Yeah, go. Oh. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. I mean, oh, she's oh, getting nice. it. Oh, <laughs> She's excited. There's another one over here. Timber. Sometimes they just need a little bit of, a little bit of encouragement. Wait, there's more. Bit, so she's taken to a place to eat. <laughs> there's more. Oh. Uh, Timber. Hi. Timber. Hi. Oh. <laughs> All right. All right. Thank you, Kayla. All righty. Good job. Super, you fed, you fed the wolves. I did. And you weren't cringe at all. Well, you did it. Yeah. An improvement. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was that was that was fun. I mean, they didn't really come too close, which I guess is fair because they're very new. But they look very, uh, very beautiful. I like them. And I threw ooh, threw the meatballs in there, and they came and ate them. So I think I did a good job, all things considered. Your chat said soy throat. Dude. Okay, but like, what am I supposed to do? I, I'm not like I'm not a pitcher here. I'm not Shohei Otani. I'm not you know. It's, I'm just doing what I was told. Yeah, I mean, I had a lot of fun. This was, uh, this was very enjoyable. I'm glad that she was able to uh, invite me. I feel like, I mean, she said it herself, this is not exactly like uh, the most usual collab that she would do, but I hope she had fun. I had fun. Maybe uh, I'll get invited back one day. Are you gonna get invited back or are you gonna invite yourself back? Well, I mean, if I don't get invited back, I might have to just show up. I mean, you know, it's one of those things.